play's original name was The Chronicles of Sarah Good. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in this installment of Mojo Notes, we'll be exploring 10 things you should know about Arthur Miller's The Crucible. Number 10, about the author. Born in 1915 in Harlem, New York, Arthur Miller worked to help his family following the Wall Street crash of 1929. I wasn't born into it, but I grew up in the period of the Great Depression when revolution was in the air. He continued working after high school and started writing plays during university. After his plays found Broadway success, he branched out into screenplays and married actress Marilyn Monroe. He died in 2005. Number 9. Influences and Inspirations Using the Salem Witch Trials, Miller wrote The Crucible as an allegory to describe American politics in the 1950s. By the uh, mid-50s, like a lot of other people, I was at my wit's end as to how to counteract what I thought was a hysteria sweeping this country. He took several liberties and exaggerated his account of these late 17th century events to represent the efforts of Republican American Senator Joseph McCarthy and his supporters to condemn political rebels, particularly communists, with little or no proof. We should be taken down from those watchtowers and should not be representing the American people. And I don't intend to ever avoid giving the names of traitors, giving the names of communists, when I discover them in important position. As such, it's a dramatization and fictionalization of real-life events. Number 8. Settings and Era The Crucible is set in Salem, Massachusetts Bay, when it was under the colonial administration of the English Empire during the late 17th century. The people of Salem abided by a very strict moral code, which is reflected by the play's characters. But it, it may well be that in Salem, he will find signs of Lucifer. And if so, you may be sure he will hunt him down. This included belief in the struggle between good versus evil, particularly how the greater force of God rules over humankind to keep the devil at bay. Number seven, plot. I know not what a witch is. If you know not what a witch is, how do you know you are not one? Narrated by an all-knowing third person, the Crucible revolves around several Salem residents put on trial for witchcraft. I say you have lied to the court, have you not? I'm innocent to witch! The devil knows that! It begins with Reverend Paris discovering his unconscious daughter Betty after she danced and participated in suspicious activities with the family's Barbadian slave Tituba and several other girls. One of these girls is Betty's cousin Abigail, who was previously the servant and mistress of protagonist and farmer John Proctor. His rejection of her affections causes much trouble for the townspeople, as she's willing to do whatever it takes to become Proctor's wife. Did you see Goody Proctor's spirit? And did she stab you as you have charged? Goody Proctor sent her spirit, and it stabbed me. This includes accusing Proctor's actual wife Elizabeth of witchcraft. Abigail wants me dead, John. However, Proctor ultimately sacrifices himself for his wife's sake. Number six, protagonist, John Proctor. Considered an honest and honorable man with a respectable job, John Proctor hates hypocrisy. Why did you not call for a meeting before you decided to look for devils? But once he commits adultery with Abigail, he loses his self-respect and becomes burdened by guilt. Abby, I may think of you softly from time to time but I will cut off my hand before I reach for you again. His efforts to redeem himself are what make him the play's hero. When it comes to protecting his wife, he's quick to try to defend her and prevent her arrest. He knows the difference between right and wrong and will do whatever it takes to uncover Abigail's lies. If you cry words against my wife, it will be the end of you. Even publicly admitting to his affair to try to get people to believe the truth. When this proves unsuccessful, Proctor decides to protect his name for personal reasons and his family by paying the final price. You will give me your honest confession in my hand or I cannot keep you from the rope. Which way do you go, mister? <sighs> Number five, antagonist Abigail Williams. 
Abigail Williams is Reverend Paris's teenage niece, who was dismissed as the proctor's housekeeper after she had an affair with the man of the house. She's a cold, sniveling woman and you bend to her. You look for women. I look for John Proctor who put knowledge in my heart. Because she's in love with Proctor, she's willing to go to great lengths to become his wife. You drank a job to kill Goody Proctor! <gasps> no, shut it! This makes her play on people's fears and accuse her enemies of witchcraft, so they'll be dealt with accordingly. Her lies and manipulative ways eventually lead to the deaths of 19 innocent people. She may not get to be with Proctor in the end, but her charm and deceptive ways do get her and her friends off the hook. <laughs> Number 4. Elizabeth Proctor As John Proctor's wife, Elizabeth Proctor is loyal and dedicated. Elizabeth Proctor's an envious, gossiping liar! She hates Abigail as much as the former servant hates her, and is later accused of witchcraft for it. Even though her husband had an affair with Abigail, she eventually blames her cold nature for his actions. It needs a cold wife to prompt lechery. Oh, enough. Enough. She also helps him redeem himself and keep his goodness by allowing him to be hanged. Number 3. Values and Themes The Crucible's main themes include the exploration of good versus evil, lies versus the truth, and jealousy versus compassion and forgiveness. When it comes to the practice of witchcraft, it also touches upon ideas of reputation and justice, while its title is a metaphor for the heated and conflicting circumstances that the characters find themselves in. Number 2. Modern Popularity Following a poorly reviewed but Tony-winning 1953 production, The Crucible found more success the next year. It's since become Miller's most performed work and an important part of American drama. What do you make of this? God help me, I cannot say, but I'm sure the child must be heard, Thomas. Or it will surely spread that you silenced her. Number 1. Adaptations Along with stage and television productions, The Crucible has also been reworked for film. Following a 1957 Franco-East German movie, Miller adapted the play for the big screen himself, which produced the Oscar-nominated 1996 drama. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite piece of The Crucible trivia? Good morning! Morning, Mr. Partner! With new top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.